Thomas <laughs> Finnegan. Do we have Thomas Finnegan, our traffic reporter, on the line? Thomas, are you there? Good morning, Stephen. How are you? I'm fine. What can we expect this morning as people are uh, taking part in their morning commute? Well, we're seeing some traffic from the bathroom to the kitchen, okay. uh, and you want to watch out. you, you got a stray sock in there, so you want to hug left. Okay. Thank you very much. And a hug, you mean the wall? Correct. Okay. Well, it's a problem because I have a, I have a centerpiece there in that wall with a, with a vase. Ooh, so right, yeah. we'll need to move that. that. This dangerous. is why we, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else we should know, Thomas? Uh, that's about it. There was a, uh, a pileup of torn up newspaper earlier, but that's been cleared away. So free, uh, free lanes for all. Okay. Thank you very much. This has been okay. the traffic update with yeah. Thomas Finnegan. I am doing yeah. well. Mr. Finnegan, what do we have this morning? What should people look out for on their morning commute? Someone left the AC on last night. So be sure to bundle up if you're coming in from the bedroom. What is uh, going on today as far as uh, people with their morning commute? Good morning, Stephen. Your commute is all clear from all directions. That's nice. Oh. What? Oh. I just tripped on that. I just tripped on that last sock that was piled up for oh, Monday. No. Mr. Finnegan, are you there, sir? How are you? I am here, Stephen. I have uh, successfully crash landed the helicopter. Oh, oh good. That's good. wow. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I, uh, how about you? How about you tell me about the uh, the traffic this morning, Thomas? Since that's why you're on the payroll. I, I, I can't tell you much about the traffic, but I'm gonna have to let you go. I got some natives to deal with. What, what, what's what? that sound? Natives? What's that sound in the background, Thomas? What's that? Yeah, what sound? Oh my! Did we just oh, lose? Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh my goodness! They so got he has some we have natives any, to deal with. Some what to deal natives? with? All right, <laughs> Thomas Finnegan, are you there, sir? Tell us what's going on this morning. I am here, Stephen. Thank you for having me. Uh, well, after I crash landed my helicopter, I was challenged to a duel by the local tribe's leader, who goes what? by the name of. Wow! And I have successfully wow. usurped his authority. Okay, uh, but what do we have any idea what's going to be affecting people's morning uh, commute? Yeah. No news on that, but I do have a new wife, and her name is. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I guess we wish you the best, Thomas Finnegan. Is yeah. there anything else? No, no sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I believe we have our uh, senior traffic correspondent on. Oh. It's time for traffic update. <laughs> All right, Thomas Finnegan with our traffic update. Uh, tell us what's going on this morning there, Thomas. That doesn't sound good. Wow. Nothing good, Stephen. Nothing good. Okay. Uh, thank oh, you very yeah. much. All right. This has been our traffic update with Thomas Finnegan. Great reporting. How did he make senior correspondent? Our correspondent, uh, Thomas Finnegan, who you know, he does our morning traffic updates. Yeah. We actually sent him out to polling stations um, today to kind of get a feel. It's our own unofficial exit polling. So uh, let's, uh, let's go to Thomas Finnegan uh, out in the world. Well, Stephen, uh, I was on my way up to Waco to ask some people who they're voting for, uh, but my car broke down. Uh, so now I'm here in Travis County and I'm looking for some folks to ask some questions. Oh, well, we hope that you stay safe. I don't really know if that's the best way to fix your car, but you plan on asking some people out there today, I'm right? sorry, Stephen. You plan on asking uh, them about their votes? The fritz too. I, I can't quite. Well, sure, I just, but I- Here's some I folks, I'll go ask them. Okay, hey, well, ladies, I- Who are you voting for? <laughs> who are you voting for? <laughs> Yeah, oh, I don't gosh. want to. I hope it ends well. Nah, well, yeah. it doesn't end well for me. But thank God I have it's a like a energy. threatening walrus coming after you. Tire <laughs> <with this> iron. <laughs> I mean, you think he's there for hugs, but those tusks. And again, is going to shoot right. Gerald B right now right. with That's our fine. wonderful sponsor. Before we go to this commercial break, Spartan Armor, and I'm going to tell you about it right now. We're going to shoot Gerald B live. Thomas Finnegan, let's go. Looks like you got it. Yeah, right in there. I did it. Bridge, uh, Thomas Finnegan, are you there? And what's going on with the current state of the election? Any news? 
Good morning, Stephen. Yes, I am here uh, on the news front for the election. I can't give you much insight. I've actually picked up a second job, and uh, oh. I've been pretty busy. Okay, with well, that. hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We do. We, you're not like a contractor. You are an employee of mine, so that concerns me tax-wise. Right. What's your <laughs> What's your second job? Well, we'll have to talk about you know the taxes off air, but uh, lately I've just been driving around picking up coolers and uh you know dropping off at uh, convention centers and it's pretty sweet it pays you know five figures um yeah it, it, it helps yeah you know what i don't think that's that that sounds like uh yeah. thomas Finn. you're yes. supposed to be our election correspondent yeah. not committing massive voter fraud oh, which boy. sounds like what yeah. is happening you didn't look inside the coolers at all or did you peer peek into them well well no that, that that's not my job I just moved them. Uh, wow. Before we do that, today is the initiation of this. We need to talk about the macro uh, problem with the Dominion voter systems. It is time to kick off Fraud Week. Um, our on-the-ground correspondent, uh. Thomas Finnegan, uh, with Fraud Week uh, and some facts regarding fraud. Thomas Finnegan, can you hear me, sir? Good morning, Stephen. I can hear you fine. All right. Well, we can't see you. Let's let's move the cam. Yeah, move the yeah. camera up, Thomas Finnegan. Move the camera up, please. Let's up. angle the camera up because we're just looking at your chest. Angle let's up. look up uh, a little more. Yeah. Hey, you got a little, me? No, we don't have you, no, Thomas Finnegan. Thomas Finnegan, move the. Ca- there you go. Stand right, back. back okay. No, whoever is oh, opposite the camera is really, belly. really dumb <laughs> and deserves to lose their job. That's a great Spartan <laughs> armor vest, though. That is a great what? Spartan armor yeah. vest, but it's that's beautiful. not important right now. Let's angle up a bit. Yeah. Pan, tilt the camera up. Tilt it up. Angle it up. 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 Thomas Finnegan, give us some fraud. <laughs> facts here for fraud week yeah all right uh steven this is really exciting it's a beautiful morning out uh i just wanted to go through a, a few quick facts for you basically uh you know it the, the a family of frogs a grouping you might you might say is called an army of mm. frogs and uh they're they're amphibians uh composing of you know the, the order of anura which means Tailless in ancient yeah, Greek. Yeah, no, uh, Thomas. Thomas uh, Finnegan, can you hear me? It's uh, it's it's yeah. it's fraud week, fraud with a D, yeah, as in uh, Daryl. Uh, all, all week. Um, yeah. our correspondent, uh, Thomas Finnegan, is uh, here with us today. Thomas, I thought I thought we were going to you. You're here. I thought you were on location. No, I, I'm here today. All right. Steve. Well, yeah, we can't really hear you. Okay. So Thomas okay. Finnegan, it's fraud week. Uh, you but have some fraud I, I facts for us. I wanted to apologize first for uh, dropping the ball earlier earlier this week. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. With the well, he with the frog facts. It's but fraud I have some, week. Some facts about frauds. You have some facts. Fraud facts. Good. So, Relevant. Thank you for doing the research. Uh, it was a film that came out in Australia in 1993 with Phil Collins and Hugo Weaving. Uh, the the soundtrack is not available for purchase, um, and uh, it was in competition in 1993 for. Ken's Film Festival Award. Okay, well, first we're doing fr- we're, that. That doesn't even seem like fraud. That just seems like a tidbit. That's like a did you know mm. if frauds. Um, mm-hmm. uh, this is yeah. Oh, this this is more about uh, fraudulent elections. Oh, if you want to talk about numbers. Okay. Yeah. It, it grossed about thirty thousand Australian. Yeah. Dollars. No, that's not relevant. We were talking about fraud, just, just fraudulent under. elections, election fraud. <sighs> We have to go. Oh, don't we have a? Uh, we have actually uh, to check in with oh, our no. Los Angeles traffic report. It's a yeah. contractual yeah. obligation. Oh, no. uh, Los okay. Angeles traffic We're this morning uh, with Thomas Finnegan on the ground. <laughs> Mr. Finnegan, what do you got for us, sir? Good morning, Stephen. Uh, I'm here on the 405, and uh, um, I guess. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Oh, gee. Finnegan. Thomas? Can you hear us? Tom. Tom. These are strange times that we live in, so mm-hmm. we cannot talk about widespread voter fraud right. if we were to insinuate that that may have impacted the election. However, from what I understand, mm-hmm. and I don't understand much, mm-hmm. get there. YouTube uh, can't stop us from thinking. Ooh. about widespread voter yeah, fraud, yeah. which may have led to That's Donald good. Trump winning the election. So um, I'd like to take a moment and exercise that remaining right.
All right. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.